Hi, this is Bikash Patnaik. I'm here at uh, University of Wisconsin in Department of Pediatrics. I'd like to introduce you to our new paper in human mutation. Hello, I'm Xin Liu. I'm a postdoc in Dr. Bikash's lab. Hi, I'm Paul Sahi, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow in Department of Pediatrics, UW Madison. Hello, my name is Nathaniel York, and I'm a graduate student in Dr. Patnaik's lab. So I'd like to uh, introduce to this paper uh, novel KCNJ13 nonsense mutation and loss of uh, KR7.1 function, which cause a pediatric inherited blindness, labors congenital amaurosis. The other uh, collaborators who have contributed to this work are uh, Dr. D.N. Pillars from uh, UW Madison Pediatrics Department. We had also uh, clinical two clinical partners. One is at the KCI Institute for Genetic Screening, and uh, both Megan Marino and uh, Dr. Tabulsi at uh, uh, Cole Eye Institute at the Cleveland Clinic. So this work is on uh, Leber's congenital amaurosis, which uh, is a disease with profound visual loss at or near birth, and about 17 genes are regularly screened uh, for this disease. And when uh, a boy, a 10 year old boy who complained about his vision and his blood samples was sent out for um, uh, genetic screening and his uh, retina images were taken, uh, you can see in the paper that uh, his retina looked abnormal with uh, abnormal angiogenesis and also pigmentation in the macula. So using uh, next generation sequencing methods on patient whole blood samples, we um, determined the patient's genotype and observed a mutation in the TGG um, to the stop codon TAG. And this is in KR7.1, which is a protein that's localized to the apical projections of the RPE, as we can see here with the RPE uh, stained in red and the KR7.1 channel stained in green. And uh, we have uh, performed the whole cell patch clamping on the cells which has been like transfected with these uh, mutation and these uh, it's also been fused with the GFP so that it will easily detected and we, we, when we compared with the wild type uh, that's in the black face uh, the mutant one the, the, in the red, red press doesn't have any current. So you can compare with the non transfected cells, it's more or less like a non transfected cells. So it signifies that the mutant is non functional. So we have also confirmed this using the activator, uh, activator as well as the inhibitor. So to inhibit the current, we use the barium, and for activation, we use the uh, rubidium uh, ions. And in, uh, in both the figures, uh, we can see that barium only uh, block the wild type current, but, uh, uh, and also like rubidium only acted on the wild type and it activated the current. So when we run through the gel, we see the two different sizes of the proteins, saying that the protein, whatever produced by the mutation, are truncated. And we also confirm, further confirm with the in-cell western that proteins are produced. Uh, we can use uh, electroretinogram to test the function of vi uh, vision. So we use ERG uh, to test the uh, disease model, which we, in we do injection of GIP fused carrier uh, 71 SR channel particles, and after injection, we test the ERG of the disease model, and we found that there is obvious, obvious, obvious uh, inhibition of A wave and B wave. So, with all this um, uh, data, what we found basically is this is not only a novel mutation, but we saw for the first time here the cause of the disease using a molecular model which is worked out in the laboratory condition and also using a laboratory animal mouse, we saw how the disease phenotype is can be reproduced in mouse after you inhibit the function of the KIR 7.1 channel. To know more about this study, you can go to human mutation and uh, find detailed study report in this paper 
a novel KCNJ13 nonsense mutation and loss of KR7.1 channel function which cause labor's uh, congenital amyloidosis. Thank you.